Now, what we have to do is make the case, not just to the elected executive, but to everyone else that knows that they're relying on us. I left my iPhone out because everybody thinks that this iPhone 16 is the product of the genius, and he was a genius, of Steve Jobs. Hardly. There were probably, by my estimation, 5,000 academic research groups through the decades that had something to do with the technology I'm holding in my hand. Nobody even knows they exist. Nobody knows the hundreds of patents that are in here and the thousands of articles that back up the patents that are in here. And I'm not just talking about the, the chips, the billions of transistors that are on the single chip, but the, the Gorilla Glass that's on the cover here and the Surface this and the electronic this and the battery technology and all the other kinds of things and then all the systems and all the ap applications. There's not one aspect of this iPhone 16 which has not been deeply empowered and enabled by, at one point or another, some academic research activity, some academic technological development, and no one knows any of that. Mr. Musk sits out there with unbelievable technologies to build his Tesla car, an unbelievable technology to launch into space, an unbelievable technology, all of which are derivative of academic activity. And yet everyone thinks that the genius is Musk or the genius is Jobs. They are geniuses at integration and design and organization and so forth and so on. But integration, design, and organization of what? Thousands of discoveries, tens of thousands of discoveries from academia over decades and decades and decades that allow all these technologies to exist. So we're the invisible hand.